Let's go. Okay, back. We're going to do some blacksmithing. We're at the blacksmithing station. You look for the anvil. Beside the anvil is a trough. Uh, the cooling trough. Uh, basically, uh, E to use. Uh, you always have the person that sells the supplies. Uh, a lot of the supplies that you need are My husband, the was the one who components. They're expensive. Uh, gather them as you go. Uh, save them in the bank. So basically, E to use the blacksmithing. Uh, loads up the menu. You've got a creation, you've got improvement, you've got extraction, and you've got research. Uh, we're going to concentrate on extra, uh, on the creation and the extraction. So first, we go to extraction. So items that you find, you can break down into components. So basically, this uh, double click it will load it into the destruct destruct weapon uh, R to extract, and it does give you uh, experience. So it's great as a starting point to break things down uh, to get easy. Um, experience. Uh, so that sorts by weapons. This sorts all of uh, the armor apparel. Uh, then there's also raw materials. So ore that you find along the way. You can load it up. R to uh, turn it into ingots, which will let you then craft. Uh, turning stuff into ingots is very low experience. Uh, but also when you are um, creating ingots, you have an option. Uh, every once in a while you have a chance of getting a crafting component also, uh, like the rubies and, and whatnot. Um, also when you're deconstructing it gives you an option, sometimes uh, a chance to get uh, um, components you need for improvement. Uh, some of those components for improvement is um, uh, honing stones, and then uh, dwarven oil, and then as you get up in level, uh, grain solvent. Uh, your best bet is to save as many honing stones you know, as you can and dwarven oil. Don't sell them, don't trade them if you plan on doing blacksmithing. Uh, so that basically goes through the extraction. Creation, click the creation menu. Um, I would also check off that you have, only select have items, have knowledge. That way it clears everything up and you know exactly what you can create. Basically Nord, uh, these are the items you need. Uh, Corundum, uh, these are the ingots that we just created. These are all the weapons that can be created um, right out the gate. Um, and of course armor also. So what I usually do is the first things that I make um, is our armor chest and pants, uh, depending on your level. So basically, you can hit um, right here. It'll tell you uh, it's going to take seven ingots to make a chest, and that's a level one. Hitting the plus sign will use up more ingots and also increase the level um, and the stats. Um, of course, if you keep going, it'll create higher, higher items, but you won't be able to use it as it shows here. So I want to create a level four iron chest. So I've got the one component, and I'm going to hit R to craft it. Um, and that's basically it. So I created an iron chest. Uh, as you can see, it'll be here. So I can also break it down again, and then create, uh, get some ingots back. Uh, so it's a back and forth process if you just want to level. You just create, break down, create, break down until you're out, and then go out and get more uh, of the iron ore. Um, and the ingots to continue the crafting. Um, that's basically it. Um, hope that helps. Take care. Thanks for watching.